In this Lost Ark Shadowhunter guide, I'm going to show you what it means to play as a Shadowhunter in terms of how well they perform in combat, the playstyles available to them, and the best skills and tripods to focus on. If you're searching for an assassin that provides you with the option to transform into a demonic form while being able to deal rapid and explosive damage combos as a human, then this Shadowhunter class guide is for you. Shadowhunters are one of the advanced classes that falls under the Assassin class. They wield Shadow Blades which allow them to destroy enemies in a matter of seconds, whether it's up close and personal or from a distance. They're also one of the top beginner-friendly DPS classes since their skills are balanced and straightforward to use regardless of the form they take. As a Shadowhunter, you can concentrate on inflicting massive damage via your human or demonic form. If you stay as a human, you'll mostly activate normal skills accompanied by upgrades, which enhance damage even more at the cost of attacking at a relatively slower rate. Conversely, should you wish to become a demon, your priority is to use as many intrude skills as possible to build up your Shadow Burst Gauge for your transformation. This will then provide you with boosted health and movement speed. Shadow Hunters are a hybrid DPS class with decent sustained damage thanks to their skills, and they're able to take this to the next level when they transform into a demon to deal burst damage. As an assassin, their mobility is good, allowing for swift movements when charging in and out of combat. However, the Shadow Hunter's HP is quite low, so they need to balance attacking with quick evasion to survive longer in combat. Most of their skills also lack the super armor buff, which means that they're susceptible to enemy crowd control. All advanced classes in Lost Ark have unique features or identities that differentiate them from the other classes. These can either unleash more damage or enhance the buffs they grant. For the Shadow Hunter, this is the Shadow Burst identity, allowing them to temporarily shapeshift into a demon. To do so, they have to successfully hit their enemies with a variety of skills. You can continue filling up the Shadow Burst meter by performing normal skills, but intrude skills such as Demonic Clone and Demon Vision will allow you to accumulate energy more rapidly. Once this meter has been completely filled up, you can enter into the Demonic Mode. As a demon, you have access to another set of abilities known as Demon Skills. Demon skills like Destruction and Blood Massacre are very powerful. Not only do they deal greater damage compared to normal and intrude skills, but they also stagger targets, knocking them down in the process. Additionally, you become immune to stagger yourself, though you're not immune to getting knocked back, especially when facing bosses. When your demonic form has expired, however, you'll revert to your human form, and your Shadow Burst meter will be affected by the Composure debuff. This means that you have to wait for 30 seconds before you can start building up Shadow Burst energy once again. By the time your Shadow Hunter reaches level 50 in Lost Ark, you'll have to unlock a total of 26 skills comprised of Normal, Intrude, Demon, and Awakening skills. To add to this, you'll also have invested several points into Normal and Intrude skills to specialize further by unlocking their respective tripods. The tripod system allows players to customize their skills in various ways like decreasing mana cost or cooldown rate. In total, you only need 8 skills per character with a select number of tripods. In this section, I'll cover the essential Normal and Intrude skills, and tripods you should allocate points into regardless of the playstyle you end up choosing. Normal Skills Demonic Slash Charges towards a group of enemies to slash them several times. The Demonic Slash tripods to consider are excellent mobility, numbing effect, and spin kick. Not only do you perform an extra kick when you rush towards your enemies, but you also increase the move distance. Additionally, both your attack and movement speeds are improved upon hitting them. Cruel Cutter Exclusively for the perfect suppression playstyle that obliterates enemies from a distance. This inflicts more damage when you target enemies from the back. The Cruel Cutter tripods to select are Bleed Effect, Electric Attack, and Encroachment Release. This combination allows you to deal damage over time with bleeding while improving your crit rate. Additionally, you're able to increase the damage Cruel Cutter deals by more than 100% in exchange for spending a portion of your Shadow Burst meter. Thrust Impact acts as an energy weapon that you build up massive amounts of power to deal explosive damage. The Thrust Impact tripods to pick are Widened Explosion, Stun Effect, and Encroaching Power. This combination allows you to increase the radius of the explosion while stunning enemies in the process. Additionally, Thrust Impact's cooldown is reduced and you gain more Shadow Burst energy. Demolition Combo skill that allows you to dart forward while performing slashing attacks in quick succession. The first two hits deal normal damage, but the third is stronger and can knock back foes. The Demolition tripods to choose are Weak Point Detection, Quick Attack, and Charge Slash. In particular, Quick Attack enhances the damage of the first attack and then skips straight to the strongest third attack. Charge Slash then enhances the damage of the third attack even further, converting Knockback into Knockdown. If you intend to deal great burst damage, then you can substitute Charge Slash for Encroachment Release instead. Spinning Weapon Combo skill that launches two spinning weapons to inflict a dot. The spinning weapon tripods to select are Quick Prep, Instant Disposal, and Piercing Edge. This combination reduces the cooldown rate of the skill while boosting damage at the cost of a lesser AoE radius. Upon successfully hitting your targets, you also ignore more than 50% of their defense, further raising the overall damage you deal. Intrude Skills Demonic Clone Summons a huge devil incarnate to deal great damage against multiple targets up close. 
This combo skill is a good gap closer given the size of your summon, and it inflicts even more damage when performing back attacks. For the Demonic Impulse playstyle, the Demonic Clone Tripods to obtain are Vital Point Hit, Chain Attack, and Enhanced Release Encroachment. These bonuses take advantage of your increased attacks by supplementing them with a better crit rate. You're also able to stagger enemies while continually building your Shadow Burst meter. For the Perfect Suppression playstyle, change Chain Attack to Fist of Destruction to inflict more damage as a human while launching remaining enemies into the air. Rising Claw, another gap closer that propels you forward and launches targets into the air. The Rising Claw tripods to consider are Natively Honest, Critical Blow, and Grasp of Death. This combination grants you immunity to prevent being interrupted while boosting your crit and overall damage. Demon Vision, channels a beam of demonic energy to inflict massive damage against a group of lined targets while knocking them back. Make sure to face your targets before firing the skill to hit them since you can't reposition the beam. The Demon Vision tripods to take are Concentrated Release, Encroaching Power, and Overflowing Power. These upgrades not only boost damage and AoE radius to harm more enemies, but they also let you gain an increased amount of Shadow Burst energy than usual. Demon's Grip Utilizes a demon arm to follow targets and to pull them back to you. This is a good skill if you're fighting against a massive number of enemies who can overwhelm you, so you can choose which to pick off first. The Demon's Grip tripods to select are Quick Prep, Encroaching Power, and Giant Grasp. You'll be able to activate this skill frequently due to decreased cooldown rate and gain more Shadow Burst energy. Additionally, with Giant Grasp, you instead pull in more enemies. Howl, a shrill demonic cry that greatly damages multiple enemies surrounding you while inflicting fear. This is a great skill to use when they're already intruding into your space because it can give you a bit of breathing room since they cower from fear. The Howl tripods to choose are Quick Prep, Encroaching Power, and Mighty Roar. This combination is similar to Demon's Grip in the sense that it reduces cooldown rate and boosts the Shadow Burst energy gain. Meanwhile, Mighty Roar increases Howl's AoE radius and damage further. You can swap this for Scream of Fury if you're playing with friends to enhance their damage as well. Decimate. Slashes multiple enemies using large demonic arms. This is your most damaging skill, but it has a very long cooldown. This can be offset by taking the Quick Prep Tripod. Other tripods to choose from are Weak Point Detection and Cruel Hand. These upgrades increase the damage you inflict against push immune or strong enemies while dealing extra damage when slamming your arms on the ground. In Lost Ark, every advanced class unlocks engravings that allow you to further specialize in your chosen class as they grant special effects, which can be activated by reading recipe books and equipping accessories and ability stones. You're able to obtain them as random rewards by completing endgame activities such as Chaos and Abyss Dungeons and Guardian Raids. In this section, I'm going to talk about class engravings which determine the playstyle you wish to adopt for your character and our class-specific abilities and traits. The two class engravings available to the Shadow Hunter are Demonic Impulse and Perfect Suppression. You gain access to this when you reach level 50. Let's first discuss the Demonic Impulse class engraving, or playstyle, together with the stats that go with it. Demonic Impulse negates the Composure debuff, which lets you enter into the Demonic State more frequently since you no longer have to wait for 30 seconds to do so again. To maximize this playstyle, however, you need to at least reach Demonic Impulse Engraving Level 2, because only then will you be able to significantly improve your crit rate. This playstyle is suitable for those who enjoy annihilating hordes of enemies as a demon, with near 100% uptime. Out of the 8 available skills you have, you'll want to have a ratio of 6 intrude skills to 2 normal skills to keep filling up the Shadow Burst meter to activate your demon form. While in human form, the goal is to disable enemies as often as possible while dealing adequate AoE damage. In terms of the Demonic Impulse's combat stats, you want to prioritize specialization and then crit when gearing up. Maximizing specialization not only lengthens the duration of staying as a demon, but it also enhances your respective demon skills, thereby inflicting much more damage. Crit Rate raises your crit rate, allowing you to further boost the damage you deal with your abilities. Perfect Suppression, on the other hand, completely disables the use of the Demonic Mode, so you stay as a human all throughout. While in this form, the damage you deal with normal skills as well as tripods that make use of the Shadow Burst meter are improved. As such, it's still essential to have at least three intrude skills at your disposal. Unlike Demonic Impulse, reaching Perfect Suppression Engraving Level 1 is enough to make a reputable build. In terms of Perfect Suppression's combat stats, you want to invest in Crit followed by Swiftness to boost the chances of dealing crit damage while enhancing your overall speed in terms of movement and attack since you'll be staying in your human form with this playstyle. Final Tips Playing as a Shadow Hunter is both exciting and rewarding at the same time because of the insane amount of burst damage you deal. The caveat, however, is this advanced class could be easily overwhelmed when there are too many mobs and bosses in the area. If you don't have the quick reflexes to evade this situation or just have terrible ping, your Shadow Hunter will perish given her relatively low HP. In PvP, the Shadow Hunter will mostly utilize ranged skills such as Piercing Thorn and Grind Chain to not only engage other players for your allies but to also catch them by surprise. For skills that utilize the Encroachment Release Tripod like Cruel Cutter and possibly Demolition, you should activate these after you've accumulated enough Shadow Burst Energy, 20% to be exact. To do this, you have to cycle through Intrude skills first, 
Otherwise, you won't be able to take advantage of the significantly increased damage it provides. Lastly, skills such as Demonic Slash and Demolition do not only function offensively, but defensively as well. This is due to their excellent mobility and Master of Evasion tripods, which raises their move distance and dodge rate respectively. Be sure to experiment with these if you find yourself getting constantly stuck in the middle of combat. Stay tuned for more Lost Ark class guides, and be sure to check out our Lost Ark wiki or drop by our Twitch channel if you have questions about the game. What did you think of our Shadowhunter class guide? What advanced class are you planning to try out first? Let us know in the comments below.